If you're planning a trip to Yellowstone, we've got you covered with a list of our top 10 favorite things to see and do. I'm Jack Stewart. And I'm Colton Smith. We're the hosts of Rock the Park on ABC, and together we've explored more than 100 parks around the world. And Yellowstone is easily one of our favorites. So here we go with our top 10. Gosh, I love coming to this place. Yellowstone is huge. It's got the largest collection of geysers and hot springs in the world. It's got some of the most elusive wildlife, the grizzly bear, wolves, bison, you name it, we have it here in Yellowstone. If you're heading to Yellowstone and you're up for a wet and wild adventure, check out whitewater rafting on the Yellowstone River. It's not permitted in the park, but you can put in upriver from the north entrance, and it's perfect for families. The nice thing about this trip is it's not all rapids the whole time. We're gonna have some calm sections like this where we can really look out and spot some wildlife. Hey, wildlife, oh wow, wow, wow. You see them? Oh yeah, we got see antelope. Right up there, the up antelope? Up. Right up there. Oh, there's look a whole herd of them. Those are pronghorn, the fastest land animals in North America. And just above us, an osprey. Animals constantly migrate in and out of Yellowstone, so you will have plenty of viewing opportunities even before you get into the park. Another great way to take in Yellowstone is on foot. There are more than 900 miles of hiking trails, and this three-mile hike up to the summit of Mount Washburn is a great way to spot wildlife. We've spotted a bison right down there. These guys are kind of dangerous. You do not want to get too close to them. Give them a space. And that's good advice for any animal you might encounter. So we're walking up the trail, and we spot these huge grizzly tracks. Holy Look at this. Cow. Ooh. Oh man, these are fresh too. These are definitely grizzly bear tracks. Grizzlies have a boxier shaped claw. The black bear has more of a rounded cat-like claw. About 300 to 500 grizzlies live in Yellowstone, so it's a good idea to always make a lot of noise. Hey bear! Hey bear! If a bear hears you coming, it'll try to avoid you, but carry bear spray just in case. This is great. Wow. Oh man, look at this view. Beautiful. Another way to experience Yellowstone is one of the simplest. Just drive. Oh my gosh, is that a big animal. We're just driving down the road and right in front of us is this huge bison. Driving's not just a way to get around. It's part of the adventure and a route we really love passes through Hayden Valley along the Yellowstone River. Okay, we've got some elk that are right by us right now. Wow, oh my gosh. Right now it's rutting season and we have three bull elk. So what that tells me, you've got three guys with three sets of horns. They're, they're clashing yeah. a little bit. <laughs> this is one of the things that is just so spectacular about Yellowstone is the fact that you can drive through this park and you will see tons of wildlife. Another awesome drive is on the north end of the park. We're heading into Lamar Valley. This is my favorite part of Yellowstone National Park. This place has been referred to as the Serengeti of North America. This is why. Literally, there are bison everywhere. There's hundreds, maybe thousands, right in eyesight from where we're standing. Yellowstone is known as the land of the roaming bison because they are not controlled here at all. They're not corralled and they're just left to roam free. This place is so, so special. I'm telling you, I've been here probably 15 to 20 times, no joke, and this never gets old. Lamar Valley is also home to wolves. While you might see one from the road, you'll probably have better luck on a guided wolf watching trip. So let's just take these right over here and then I'll show you how to set them up. Okay. Our first stop is an overlook where a wolf pack was hunting the day before. And Carolyn has brought the good stuff, massive telescopes that get you up close from 10 miles out. We're not having any luck spotting the wolf pack with the scopes, so we're moving into the valley. The hills up here are a really good place to look. Cool day like this, even middle of the day, something could still be out. I'm scanning like a madman. I see snow. I see something moving, but it's way back there. It's blending in really well. I do see it. It is a wolf. It totally is. That is so cool. Isn't it? Oh, I see him. You see him? I thought we were oh, going to yeah. get him, too. That's crazy. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Moving on to number six of our top 10 for Yellowstone, be sure to stop at the West Thumb Geyser Basin on the shore of Yellowstone Lake. Wow. 
I love walking on the boardwalk here. It's almost like it's a path into another reality because these geyser basins are just so crazy. And the boardwalk just gives you that perfect little path right into the heart of the fire, so to speak. You've got the geysers bubbling. You've got the steam just shooting up into the air and the crust, the weird colors of the earth. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And one feature that stands out as a one of a kind. I've never seen anything like this before. Fishing cone is a geothermal feature right in Yellowstone Lake, which is crazy because I have to imagine this water is pretty cold, but right in the center of that cone, it is hot. In fact, it's boiling. You can see it right now. Yeah, this geothermal feature has got a really interesting backstory. Early settlers in this area, they would fish right here. And when they caught a trout, they wouldn't even take it off the line. They'd plop it right into that feature dinner is served just like that. Now, what's important to remember is this is an active geyser. You're not allowed to cook fish in it anymore. I mean, this thing could shoot up into the air at any time. So it's cool to be able to sit here, look at it and, and sort of take in that history while also looking out at just this incredible view. In the midst of all this steam and crustiness, there's a gotta see hot spring, 53 feet deep and Caribbean blue. So this right here is called the Abyss Pool because it is known to be the deepest pool here in Yellowstone. It sort of funnels down to the deepest point right at the center, but you can't really see the bottom. It just gets dark. It almost seems as if there is no ending. It just keeps going and going straight to the center of the earth. <laughs> That water, that's incredibly hot. How scientists go about measuring these things is beyond me. At number four, it's not Yellowstone's most famous geyser, but it is the world's tallest. Steamboat geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin can send water up to 300 feet in the air. Sometimes it goes months without erupting, but in 2019, it set a record with 47 eruptions. A lot of first time visitors to Yellowstone are surprised to learn that there is a Grand Canyon in the park. It's next on our list and a must see. Oh yeah, this is our view. Wow. That's it, dude. Look at that. Oh man. Yellowstone's Grand Canyon is about 20 miles long and 1200 feet deep at its lowest point. I've been coming to this very location since I was eight years old. This thing is majestic. One thing I wanna do though is work our way somehow down closer to the falls. In the early 1900s, Uncle Tom's Trail used to be a series of sketchy steps and rope ladders. But now it's a 300 step steel staircase that leads down to the lower falls. That oh. is spectacular. That is a giant waterfall. The Lower Falls is twice the height of Niagara Falls. The Yellowstone River is responsible for creating this natural wonder. Wow. Woo. Wow. That is awesome. Next up at number two, it's got to be the most famous geyser in the world and the most reliable. Old Faithful erupts every 45 to 90 minutes, and most people watch from the ground level just outside of Old Faithful Inn. But you can take a trail to see it from above. It's we made it. This is the spot. And now, our number one pick in Yellowstone. It's the rainbow-colored Grand Prismatic Spring, the most photographed, most beautiful feature in the entire park. Just recently, they put in this new trail that gives you an overview of the springs. Wow. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's incredible. All the colors come from bacteria, the only thing that can thrive in smoking hot water that's up to 189 degrees. Each different color is a different water temperature. This makes you feel like you are on another planet. And that's it, everyone. Our top 10 things to see and do in Yellowstone. We know you'll have a great time. For more information, please check out the links down below. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel where you'll find more videos like this and full episodes of Rock the Park. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave any questions or comments that you have. And please subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to come.